The first step in this process will be to open up our FTP client and to remember what our user identities are on the student server, which is not the same as the WTCC key account. Once we get to the server, we'll open up the Web 250 directory because that's where all your work initially will be. You also open up the PHP My Admin window on the server. Again, using your standard student username and password. Again, not your Wake Tech credentials. So I'm going to open this up. And once I do, I'll be able to see just my um, databases on the server, which in this case, your database name should be Web250 plus the five first, five first letters of your last name. For this initial um, setup, I'm going to use the 5.1.1 install. So I'm going to copy all those files over to my Web250 directory using the upload command. And you'll notice in the bottom of uh, FileZilla here, it shows you how many files are queued to be copied to the server. And it's also telling you how many uh, successful transfers. And it looks like everything copied over correctly. So again, you should see no files queued at this point. Most FTP clients offer the same sort of thing. And then if I look at the Web 250 directory on, this, on the server, I'll see that I've got three um, directories, admin, content, and includes, plus some additional files. Until we do the install, we do not have a complete WordPress site because, again, WordPress actually lives in the database, not necessarily in the files. So if I go to what wp-admin install.php on the server, I will get this page, which is the start of the setup. So I'll select English. It'll tell me that I need to know the database information, and then I'll click Let's Go. Again, the database name should be Web250 plus the first five of your last name. And then your username and password are, again, the ones described in the course resources and also on this page, uh, Lesson 2. So we'll enter those two things because without those, you can't access the database. Again, just a reminder, it is not your Wake Tech key account. Again, the database lives on a local host compared to the actual files that we're using. And leave the table prefix alone at this time, WP underscore. Notice how they get a little snarky here. So all right, Sparky, click on the Run Installation button. For the site title, give it something that mentions your last name and Web 250. Now the username uh, field in this page or this uh, dialog should be admin with a password of capital P at SSW0RD. I know that's a weak password, but I need to have that set that way so that I can access the behind the scenes setup of your website. Use your student ID for your email and make sure the two checkboxes are selected. Then click on the install WordPress button. And it takes very little time to get this done. Once you get this screen, you've had a successful install and you can log into your system. And again, you're going to use the admin password password. And this should take us to the dashboard of your WordPress install and you need to check for updates. Now, because I installed 5.1.1, and at this time, the beginning of July 2019, WordPress 5.2.2 is out. I need to update that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what an update looks like. And it's going to give me all this information, and I'm just going to tell it to go ahead and update now.
it isn't all that big of an update, so it doesn't take very long to accomplish. Our goal here is to make sure that all the updates to our plugins in the system are clear before we get started. Okay, so that completed successfully. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And again, I just have a couple updates to accomplish here. Akismet and Hello Dolly are two standard plugin installs that come with WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and update those. We'll talk more about those Akismet and Hello Dolly down the road. And the last thing we need to update are our themes. And we're just going to select all of those and update them. That's just in case we want to use them. We want to make sure they have all the latest, greatest updates. And that's it. All of our um, entries in our dashboard are now clear. We have no red indicator showing, so we're good to go. And we can now just go to our website, how it looks to a user, which, as you can see right now, not much there. So, again, just a very clean look to our website.